Hi, hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back old subscribers, new subscribers. You make me so happy uh, that you're joining me. I want to continue with the teal and gold uh, journal. This is still the sig second signature and then the second part. I hope you're all doing well. I was really looking forward. I wanted to shoot this video yesterday and then my daughter called. Um, she saw a second-hand bike for uh, for Maya, or yeah, my granddaughter. She has her birthday in two months, and she gets uh, a bigger bike. So uh, she asked if if I wanted to join, and then the day evolved, and there was no, <laughs> no time left for uh, for crafting. So. I hope you uh, want to be inspired or excited what I'm going to do next. I want to start with a little bit. I uh, had some glue there, so I erased it with my uh, glue uh, eraser. And yeah, in a way I forgot a bit with digitals and, and I think especially this Epson paper, it, uh, it tears the paper. so. I thought I went looking because I knew I had butterflies in a bit the teal blue colors and I thought these, I think these are from RD Maze but I'm not quite sure. I have them a long time but I thought they went well with uh, with that and I am trained, yes. It's, uh, we had uh, real uh, cloudy days here in the Netherlands. So, but luckily uh, no rain because we had some, some weeks with a lot of rain. I don't know if that's coming again, but... And uh, this morning, it's, it's weekend, it's Saturday when I'm filming this. And uh, this morning we, uh, we went to pick up uh, a second-hand car for my daughter and uh, son-in-law there. For them, that's their first car, so <laughs> it is quite a big deal. And uh, it means they borrowed my car uh, to get them started. And uh, But yeah, I'm uh, becoming 62 in uh, this year, uh, in May. And uh, I thought it was time I got my car back. I usually do almost, almost everything by bike and I love it. Uh, and it keeps me exercised but sometimes it's uh, yeah I want to do something and I need a car for that and my um, um, let's see I'm off camera but that doesn't matter because yeah this will be later where did this go oh now I'm now I really have to think where what went I'm missing something. Uh, oh my, now things are really... Ah! I thought where did it go? That one. But now I'm doubting that I... There was something else on there. This. Okay, like that. So I'm going to put that to the side. Yeah, there, there are some things you yeah you need a car for, and my husband uh, works a lot. Also, uh, yeah, today on Saturday he's um, uh, with a volunteer military. So then I yeah I don't have a car, so then I always have to uh, shift those things uh, to uh, uh, to a Saturday that he's not working, and that's not a lot. Uh, or wait until Sunday and yeah, do a lot of things then. So because now I have my own car back, I can do them uh, yeah when it fits me or when I feel like it. So that's uh, it was time. So they were very excited for their first car and uh, yeah, it's nice. This I made in the last episode, and I told you uh, it wasn't ready because I it. I thought it was missing something and I'm going to finish it. This I glued only 
a little dot of glue here because I don't want it flapping around and it's not getting used but I like it that it's yeah a bit you can see that it's it's open so it's not completely flat down but this is open you can stick something in there maybe some secret writing could be fun and I did some uh, texture paste in there I thought that was a nice touch and if I thought of that sooner I would have done that before I glued it down because now uh, yeah, here it's a bit more bubbly uh, because yeah this is thicker and the stencil is yeah on here and then you're going with the texture paste it's always better when you use texture paste that it, everything's completely flat but it's not a disaster I went over it with uh, uh, my oxide Distress Oxide Vintage Photo very very lightly just because it was really white and, and yeah the rest isn't white it's all a bit colored um, I didn't really think what I want to do but I think I want to glue it on two sides then the tag will go in here a little tag will go in here and you can all also use that as an extra spot so I'm first going to glue it down Let's think that I'm picking the right side. Yeah, so it's for my daughter and son-in-law a next step in their lives. The car. And a very, <laughs> although it's second hand, it's, it still is a very uh, expensive uh, thing to buy. So it's a big deal. It's not uh, something you do lightly, uh, you really think about it. And now it's purely coincidental that. Uh, my car, my husband's car and their car are all from the same brand. We all go to the same garage here in, uh, in our town. Because that's, it's a very good garage and very... Um, um, oh, I don't know the word in English. They're, they're okay. They're, they don't uh, cheat on you. And, uh, yeah. The, the owner is in coveralls, working alongside the mechanics. So yeah, it's real reliable and uh, I love that. I had this little piece left. It's uh, vintage lace I got from Creative Happiness by Monique and I love it. But now it's gone because I'm going to stick it here and it's the last bit. But I loved using it, it's very beautiful. And uh, also I like it because it's yeah it's smaller and not completely delicate but yeah a bit I really like it so it will be sticking out underneath the page and that's what I always like also just for some little interest I can finish this first because before I'm yeah, it's not much that it's sticking out, but it's okay. So, and then this is all for the tag. And up, ah, this is for this one. This is the tag that I'm going to make. I'm not getting it picked up. Um, I tea dyed it just slightly to get the white off, but yeah, I didn't really want it grungy. And I want it a bit yeah, different, not exactly that point up <laughs> or like that. So I'm, I'm going to put it a bit differently in, in my, because I'm always uh, trying to avoid my perfectionism. And then, yeah, you would point one uh, leaf up and uh, I'm trying to do it differently. A bit askew like that and then I thought some fibers not too much but just a bit although I'm always struggling how 
other creators who use this do that because I'm probably overthinking that again. Let's hold it up to there. I always think it should be even a bit even all on all sides, and that's ridiculous, of course, but yeah, difficult. I've got a bit more separated, but that's not that easy. And this circle was is is in the kit, but way larger, and I made it so it was I think one and, and a quarter of an inch uh, yeah to fit on here. So I do like I yeah mentioned after in my videos I um, change a lot of pages and images uh, to suit me and I do that in Word. Um, like that. I really wanted to pick up on the on the yellow. Now I don't see much of my of the fibers. That's what I meant. I, I think it's very difficult to yeah get enough peeking out. I don't know where they are here stuck on there. You see, <laughs> there's more stuck on there than uh, than sticking out. There's almost nothing sticking out. <laughs> Ooh, not quite how I imagined it. A little bit here and then pull this out. Still a lot there. I'm trying to see how it looks. It doesn't have to be much, but just a bit. Mm. Yeah, looks very strange. Maybe a bit more here. I'm thinking if I want to, now they're all, uh, yeah, like like the leaves. So I think I, I'll cut them so there's something more sticking out. Ah, I don't like it. Get rid of it because I, no. I don't know how people do that. <laughs> to me, it never works. I'm gonna try. Bear with me. I'm uh, gonna take my. Uh... <laughs> I've saved a lot. I don't know how they do it. Maybe there is a. There's something uh, real scientific how you do this, but. It's beyond me. I think that already. Yeah, it to me it looks too much, but yeah. If you take less, then you won't see anything. So it has to be somewhere in the middle. Let's see. And I didn't want to, uh, yeah, that you can't see anything of the flower anymore. I want the flower to be visible. And yeah. Difficult! Out of my comfort zone. See, the most is still underneath <laughs> this. Yeah. Let that really dry, I think, uh, later under some books, maybe my um, tape dispenser that I can put it on there. See, it's speaking out a bit. I like that. Yeah, most of it is un underneath it, but it doesn't matter. Where can I put it? Here, and then I'm going to put my dispenser on there so it has a bit of weight there. Uh, my card, this tag will be go uh, will go in there. This is a tag from the kit, and I saw I have to oh um, oh yeah have to make the hole and the reinforcers. Sorry, I 
thought I was prepared very well and now I'm thinking if these holes aren't too big but we'll see how oh, these are white some uh, I already inked and these ones because this is already uh, colored I'm going uh, with these ones or these ones uh, one, because sometimes it's also nice to uh, cut these circles from your digitals and you can use a circle die if you have one a real small one and then punch your hole in the middle and it's the same effect so I printed these double-sided this is also uh, in the background kits and I love these labels I got them from someone in in the Facebook group I'm in she personally uh, sent me these I have them in Word and then I can enlarge them and change them up a bit if I want and I want it here and then I have this butterfly it was just in my stash I have a lot of butterflies and I want that there so it stands out a bit more in uh, against uh, the greenery Is it? ah yeah I'm going to overlap it a bit more like that so I'm going to put glue on here close this one because otherwise it will dry out and I I have a lot of labels also empty ones and I keep coming back to these yeah because it's yeah I like the, the green color it goes very well with a lot of uh, with a lot of things I'm going to let it stick out a bit is it worthwhile to flip it over no it's too not not enough if it was more I would uh, flip it over but now this such a little piece or rather do uh, oh no it's not on this tag I was thinking sometimes I put a little label uh, a shallow label here and you can put something in there or something like that now I have to cut it a bit in the same angle I was um, during lunch watching uh, Cara Renee and uh, yeah, like you know she's making a journal for me and I will be making a journal for her but <laughs> I still have to I still have to start because she can work on two or three um, journals at, at, at one time and I find that so difficult I get completely confused or they have to be exactly the same that's different of course but that's not the case so I thought I would because I uh, I printed all the, the pages of this uh, journal and hers. I printed them uh, at the same time and, and I really thought I'm going to try make something for that journal, for this journal. Nope, not succeeding. <laughs> I have this yellow stamp and this green one. I both like them but because there's a lot of green already I like that the yellow pops up and it's a bit more mustard color and that uh, is more to the gold side so I really like that so I'm going to put that to the side and it will go back in my stamp book I love it that they are really old stamps and I still uh, have to go one time to pick up my dad's uh, old stamp collections because he has a lot oh, no, it's completely stuck down so I'm going to leave it otherwise I'm going to wreck the stamp and that's a shame mm. is it the same hole? let's try oh, it's little it's not as big is that a problem? No, it's not. I have a bit. Uh, um, I don't know what you call this, but um, I have bigger ones. I'm going to. Ah, 
know if that's the problem. I'm always thinking, why do, don't I see my uh, my background? But it's because the the thingy is in here. It keeps uh, gets stuck in there, and then you see, don't see where you're punching the hole. It's not in the middle. <laughs> It's not uh, in the digital, not in the middle. <laughs> Can I fix that? No, I'm not going to. Ah, I'm making a hole and I was. Oh no, that's the other one. No, sorry. No, I'm, I'm making one journal and I'm already confused. Oh my. Ah, you, 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 it is visible that the hole is smaller. And you see a little border of this. So I'm going to reach for my larger punch. And I believe it's this hole. This has five different uh, ones. It's also uh, we are memory keepers. So let's try. Yeah, I think that's oops the correct size. And can I move it a bit? Hmm. I don't know, to make it more in the center, but I can do it a bit. And, ah, there it is, so I have to put glue on there because it wasn't... Uh, it's a bit sticky, but not a lot. And this is uh, just with... Um, uh, not the oxide, but just the normal uh, distress ink. I go over the um, when they like like this on the complete uh, sheet, and then just uh, rub over it. And then punch all the way. I don't think I'll, I'll get that bit. Hmm. It just cuts more and again a bit crooked. Sometimes, sorry for my perfectionism. No, it doesn't work. My nail file is too uh, too thick. Just a bit like that. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter, but I'm always changing it anyway. Can't help myself. So yeah, I still have to uh, really yeah finish this and then start uh, the journal for Cara Renee. And I'm not sure if I want to film it completely because a lot of times we do a bit of the same things. Still not in the middle. Yeah, and I purposely, uh, this is on 140 GSM, so it's not completely flimsy, but it's not, yeah, like cardstock, not thick, because it's going in this pocket, and I have to see what I want. Uh, ah, it's a bit more difficult because this is texture based, so it's only a good thing that um, that I didn't make it any thicker because this is already bulky and something will be here and something will be here so it's enough. Um, I watched uh, a different because um, uh, I linked it down below in the last video because someone contacted me that this was uh, I think I, this, it was this that it was her original idea but I, I saw it at Jules Designs, but I thought I watch her video also. Uh, Rose Lane Vintage Designs, I think, but I will link it down below. And she made the tag to go in here with this point. And that was also very nice. I didn't even think of it because, yeah, this is a tag from the kit. But this will go in here. It has to be helped a bit. And there will be some uh, some ribbon on there. 
Then for this little pocket, I once made these little tags and I saw this from Creative Happiness from Monique, where I got the beautiful vintage lace from. And she made those and I love them. And I did a video. Uh, you can check my playlist for making ephemera and that's yeah where I make different ones. But yeah, I'm doing it here now. I already glued the lace to a tag. It's a, a tag I once... Oh no, I cut them. I have this die. And it's craft uh, card, a bit cardstock, it's yeah, not very thick. This die was too small. I thought it was too small because this one is a bit bigger. Uh, this now it shows better. See, it's just one size bigger. And the I like this shape, but one size bigger of this shape was way too big. Then you couldn't see any lace, so I chose my second. <laughs> Second die set, but you can do this on your own if you have the punch to make those holes, uh, those corners. And this will be, go on here. And then a nice flower hole in there and a little ribbon. And that's it. As easy, easy peasy. I'm going to make the little hole because I think that will be enough. And now I'm thinking if I want... That's very small. I don't get any ribbon or yarn. Ah, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, I'm always annoyed by that. It's good. Mm -hmm. um, I have some different ones, but this is... Uh, I thought it, it was a bit more white, but it's a it's really strange color. No, I don't like that. And this has the glitter. I like that. Maybe it's fun. Or this one, the, the real fluffy one. Yeah, also nice. No, it's too... Ah, it's really white in comparison with the rest. Beige. Yeah, and I'm in this, in the tones. Because I thought, I think I try to um, dye this. Yeah, I do like it. it. It can be because it's a real... Yeah, it's not completely uh, stark white. No, it is not. don't like that one, so I think I'm going to use that. Or I'm going to uh, put something in there. Because I... Oh, no! Ah, oh, I'm not really... <laughs> Thinking clearly uh, today. Yeah, I was thinking about this one, if this uh, can work in there. See, now we're in the same tones, but I don't know if this is too thick to make. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I always find this also difficult to uh, do it like this. Freehand. Because now you're um, getting it um, a bit tighter is all, also uh, difficult. Oh, I think that will be okay. Not too big to go. Like that. But then I think I have to Got a bit more of this. Yeah, let's glue this. I'm all over the place. But sometimes that's what happens. I reinforced this uh, image because I, I like it. This is uh, just single sided and you can, can see a bit. Ah, yeah, it warps because of the glue of the lace and the glue of this. And that's why I thought oh, I'm going to reinforce the image so it can uh, hold that better. Oh, I made my bow, but it has to go through the hole. Can I glue it on there? And then put something all over that. I think I'm going to do that. 
I'm going to um, to look for something uh, and and just glue it on there. No, nah, that's strange. No, nope, but I'm going to use this. I'm not good at making bows on camera, so I think I'll uh, I'll leave that for for me to do off camera. Let's look for a flower. And I still like this, so who knows? This one can go to the side. Let's see if I... Oh, I love these so much, but they're real beige. Oh, and they're... No, they're too thick because they're going in the, in the pocket. So I have to keep it more flat. Mm. Yeah, color is difficult, I think. This is way too bright. No, I don't like that. A bit of color would be nice. I don't have yellow. I try to dye flowers, but they never come out the way I really like them. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what I have. These, these are white. Yeah, I have a lot of pink because that's truly my colors. But I'm, I'm shifting. I'm changing a bit. And what colors do I have? This one is blue. Let's see if I can take it. It's completely light blue then. It just needs one. Hmm. I think I, I don't like this one. What colors do I have? Green, but it's very light green. Do I have it in here? No, I ah, yeah, this one. But it's also a very, yeah, they're all the pastel colors. I'm not seeing it. Ah, this one. That's a nice one. I have something uh, in, in here, so I re I'm reminded of, of all things I have, all kinds of things. I think I'm going to like this one. If I tea dye them, they come out a strange color, or I think it's a strange color and I don't really like them. But yeah, the way you mostly buy them, they're way too white. I can't seem to get the the good of the good amount of uh, of coloring on them. So yeah. yes, I like that way better. This has to go in a big box. Yeah, it's also more white than this one, but I do like it. It, and it's a bit dimensional. It's from, uh, I think, also a, a kind of a tablecloth. And um, I cut, the, cut them out. It had uh, little, yeah, these little ones and, and bigger ones. And I keep them uh, in my... Uh, uh, yeah, in my drawers. Do I like a little bling in there? Yes, I do. I like these little flowers, but I don't have much anymore. Mm. Ah, stars. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to put a star in there. And a heart. That's nice also. I'm going to use the heart. I'm going to pick that up on my craft knife. Then put a little bit of glue, bit of glue in here, and then push it in there, and that will. Oh, you can hardly see that it's so hard. No, not really. I'm going to let that dry, and that will be in this pocket. I'm not going to do it in here. Ah, you see this. <laughs> Let it stick out just a bit. It was too long. 
So I'm going to put this to the side. Oh, the bigger tag is in there, so they both need something on top. But that can come later. Craft knife. This. So this will be the next one. Take this back. Uh, ah, my journal. This was easy because this was uh, like this in the middle. Then this we did. Where do ah yeah, this is going to go. This tag is going in this frame, so I can put that completely to the side. Yeah, then I can leave the middle out for drying so we don't ruin anything. Again, as a base, I used a tag. Um, yeah, it's it's just something I struggle with. Uh, all the images on the Ready Ephemera, the pockets and the tags, are usually the same images as on the pages. And I like uh, yeah, more different things. So I thought I'm going to use, because I all print, printed all the, the tags in the kit with a background and I thought I'm going to use them but then I'm going to use them as a base so I'm going to glue this on top of here I marked it a bit so it fits the frame that the, the bird is beautiful in frame so I'm going to glue this down first and I prepared a lot because I have to emboss. I had to. I wanted to reinforce this because the, of the embossing, and then this is going on top, and it stands out because now it's uh, embossed and um, reinforced, so it stands out more because it's thicker. Then I wanted something more here, so yeah, it's a bit more already prepared. I tore this. This is not from the kit. It's from a different designer. Um, uh, teal and tattered in uh, in one of her kits this was uh, this bird was in there and because the colors go very well with the kit I loved it and, and I like that that brown because in the background pages there's also the brown beige so I thought it went very well blue oh this one is open again not so good but I need it later so let's glue this on and because it's in uh, in that frame I wanted to uh, to really uh, yeah mark it so the bird is already uh, the bird is beautiful in frame and I think this was okay in the middle of the tag that I'm going to quickly try this and the tag you can shift the tag doesn't have to be exactly in the middle of the pocket if that's more beautiful with the bird you see now the bird is nicely in, uh, in frame and you can see something of the embossing that's something I liked also so put this on there and um, if you reinforce the, the piece you're embossing, it also uh, makes sure that you're not, um, that the paper doesn't completely crack. My hands. Let's see that it matches up a bit. It doesn't have to be exactly. Now I do remember, I was I was thinking here, oh, I had this trim that really go I think really goes well and I thought to put it on here. I forgot because when I was making this I thought oh no this trim goes here but this trim doesn't go here because it's going uh, behind the frame this so hmm yeah, maybe I still will, but I wanted this uh, single. Just put it on the t on the tag and not on the back because this is very thick. I don't know if it shows. 
It's a real vintage trim, but it's it's very thick. So if you put it like that, it's really bulking up the journal. And now I have already punched the hole and uh, put the reinforcers on there. So we'll see what I am going to do. Yeah. And then, because, uh, yeah, there's writing here, but it's, yeah, all cut off a bit. And I thought I'm going to put this lace and then Brussels will still be, uh, be showing. To stretch it a bit. Is there a right way? I think like that. So I'm just going to put, yeah, I'm going to, let's see if I can see again the paper. Yeah, I'm going to uh, glue this on, but again, the paper uh, came off when I was. Uh, trying to uh, get something with the pencil mark erased. And I was always uh, with scrapbooking. Yeah, the, the, the glue eraser was amazing because that scrapbook paper is all cardstock, so it can, uh, it can handle a lot. So that was never a problem. So I have to get used to it now that uh, that the digitals, uh, yeah, are very different. Put that back on. Ooh, the sun is shining. That looks way more nice than the gloomy. I think I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. To just hold it a bit more down. Look at it. Ah, oh, love this paper. This is probably my favorite design in the whole kit. And yeah, all these ones. He has so much detail in there. This looks embossed and crackled also. Yeah, I like it. Maybe later that I will add some words, but yeah, I'm not very good at finding the words and mostly forget that I can use words. Now I need my fine tip glue. This is also, um, no, not, not as a, a label in the kit, but a, as I explained in previous uh, videos, this is a piece out of a page. And yeah, I really like, oh, I think, it was somewhere. Ah, oh, here, this. It's that piece. Yeah, she used it in this tag, but this is also a page in the kit. And I uh, made, yeah, kind of labels of all those text uh, pieces. And I'm going to glue it on three sides as a little pocket. And the recipient can put something in there. She can journal on the rest of the tag and put something behind it if she wants. And if I have a label that, or an image or something, I like that these three sides are the same in width that is left. If you have it completely the same width, yeah, it doesn't matter. But I, yeah. <laughs> Some strange thing I do. Um, well, I can use the little, yeah, no, I can't use this because this is too bulky and this is and dry. But now you can put something in there. So that's always nice to have a little extra tuck spot. So this will uh, stay. I'm not going to put anything on there because it's going in here. Close this before it seeps out. Now you can't see anything, but you can journal on this uh, on this back, and this is what you see in the frame. Lovely. I thought it would be less this and more bird, but 
I don't know if it will stay this way. No, you have to put it completely down or pay for clip it. Yeah, love it. Then going to the back. Here I have this pocket and I knew I had to prepare something and I still haven't to find some lace to go over this and I still haven't uh, looked for it because it's uh, it yeah that's the way uh, Ruby and Pearl did it I'm going to use this I'm sure but I want something extra I don't know if I have this glitter in a piece I'm not even going to find it this one I like mm. I can't find anything as quickly, of course. Uh, this one I also really like, but it's more beige. It's very thick. I use that a lot. Uh, let's see. Now it's so handy to have my drawers next to me with all my laces. <gasps> yes, 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 this is it. And I have so much now. <laughs> That, uh, yeah, sometimes it's really uh, searching for the right piece. I like that it, it can be much because I thought uh, um, later I watched uh, the video of Ruby and Pearl again and I was looking for something that had a lot of text or imagery and she used things that, that had less and I thought it was better because now if I look at this it's too busy so but it's it's fine because it's up ah, it gets toned down by this and because this is the most busy I think I'm going to uh, put it completely over this piece like that and now you can see the blue a bit and when the card is in there but we're going to use no I'm not going to use this uh, but I will use it in the journal because I love it. I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to do it later and we're first going to work on this. And, um, this is a piece from a page. I just uh, cut out a, a real... Um, yeah, plain is not, not, not true because it has a lot of interest but uh, where there wasn't the image because then I can use it as a as a journal card. Um, let's see, I'm going to back it with some uh, book page and maybe some lines. Let's see, a bit of both because it's both writable. I like always like that, that a number yeah. Mm. yeah. I can glue it on and then cut it. And let's see. I'm going to put some glue on here. Where does it go? Do I want? Mm, I want to tear this. I think I'll. I'm going to tear it to size because then it's easier to do something with this uh, bottom side. Let's see. Like this. Yeah, it's uh, very old um, uh, writing paper. And. Um, oh, no. And it's very thick, it's very sturdy. It feels great. It was uh, in my uh, personal patchwork journal, but because that is getting way too bulky, I, um, I glued pages together and uh, this one I tore out uh, the most part of one side. The other side I already uh, used. And just left uh, about about half an inch, 
and that's what I glued uh, it glued stuck in the journal so uh, the other side wouldn't come uh, loose and I thought I can uh, can really use this like this so it's uh, it would be a waste to uh, to just glue it down in the journal and uh, cover it oh this has to stay loose because the book page has to go underneath that's why I rounded it. Um, and I want something different in color. Like that. And then the real old side I want to leave. Let's see how much. That. Take that off. I thought this would be a very quick video, but <laughs> again, I did not succeed in a quick video. It's a bit too long also, but I want the, the colored piece. How much? Okay. And now I'm going to line it up here and then I have that line to uh, and these little pieces I can uh, use in a collage or can, I can uh, stamp on you know I love the sand pool stamps so they are always nice on this uh, aged paper Yeah. Let's glue it on there. I can oh this is enough. Oh, ah. it were two pages. Ah, I didn't have that uh, idea at all. Okay. Well, oh, that's a shame because now to um, yeah, these are okay, but this is double also then. Ah, this is great for stamping, because then I'll leave that uh, torn piece, uh, I leave that. It looks very great. Now let's see how I can get that glue on here again. I'm not going to ink it, because I don't necessarily uh, want that standing out too much and it's a bit crooked I see so we have to fix that this side is pretty much okay my color uh, it's a bit but not much Sorry for the noise. It <laughs> Once I said to my husband, Oh, can't you, can't you put some oil on there? <laughs> and he said, Yeah, if you want oil all over your papers, I can surely do that. <laughs> I didn't think it. It was squeaking, and I thought, Ah, oh, oil it, and that's fixed. But that's not the way it works. I'm going to ink this up. Oh, love it. Because, um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, truly see it on uh, on camera. But in real, you can see this is, yeah, older paper, different paper. I really like the, the combination of these two. I'm going to ink this side also. So now I, uh, I'm putting uh, lace on uh, signature 3. I did that off camera because you saw me glue on lace and uh, lace tuck spots a lot. 
and then uh, I have to figure out what kind of ephemera I want. And these are pieces from the kit also. Again, pages that I took pieces of and I'm going to put them <coughs> here. It has to be trimmed a bit, so I'm going to do that. And it's more to, um, to frame the image a bit more, to make it a bit more interesting. Don't have to go completely to the top. And if you do it like that, if you take pieces from uh, from the digitals, yeah, then they always go well color-wise. And yeah, like like I said, uh, more often I always like to use as much. Uh, of the designer as possible because she gave me the opportunity to do a guest project for her. I think it's more than fair if I use uh, as much of the, um, the digitals as possible. Ah, I was skipping the music and later I thought maybe it's nice. I'm going to put this a bit to the side because it's in my way. This is already uh, a bit gold. Um, I want it to stick out of the pocket, that you can see the woman. Is it already? Yeah, it's already down there. Oh, I have room enough. Oh, I thought I really had to uh, keep her higher, but it's not. Okay. That's fine. And then this will go here. I have to trim it a bit. And then this again, same idea. It's from a page in the kit and I that's why the little flower is there. And I was thinking over there or no, I want this uh, this uh, Showing for the most. Let's see. I think I want more on this side. Um, I don't want everything in the same line. I think I'm going to cut this a bit more short because I want it yeah, more overlapping otherwise here and then that is floating, it seems to be floating a bit or is this nice that you can see a bit of the blue in between. Hmm. Hmm. I think it should be more then but I think like that better. Um, how can I position it the best? Like that. And I have this is straw paper, but reinforced on book page. And then I uh, I fussy cut it. I uh, die cut it. Just a little go here. Let's see. I want it to flower a bit more. But now I shifted the, the image a bit more this side because I intentionally I did it here and then oh, that doesn't work. Hmm. Like that, if I do it like this, then both sides have something. Or could I put it? Yeah, I like that better. 
I'm trying to be pres preserve the complete, but I don't like it. It's too too wide. No, I'm going to uh, cut that off in a way. Cut it off. Yeah, that's. Oh, I had the music. That's to to fill it up. Maybe a bit more. Let's see what's color wise is best. Or that idea. So it. Uh, No, nope. no, nope. not feeling it right away. So I'm not going to do that. Where do I want this exactly? Bit to the side. Like that. Then I'm first going to glue the label. I call them labels now because that is what they have become. Butt it up against there, and then I can glue the image down. Oh, already there is glue on the label, and then the pocket, and then the second signature is done. And I can concentrate on the Third one. Let's see that the, the painting is a bit straight because otherwise that would be strange. I'm going to curl this up a tiny bit. I like the tearing. I really have to. Um, yeah, let it go that everything has to be straight. So the tearing and the yeah the unevenness. But I do I do like it. So that's the most important thing because if you truly don't like it, yeah, then it doesn't work for you. But I'm learning. It's still very fragile, this flower. That's why I always like it when they're on uh, on cardstock. I want it a bit higher up. I see a little glue on the flower. I did uh, go over with my uh, Distress ink uh, over the flower. Oh, it was a bit too wide, but I'm going to cut it off. I like the higher part, so I'm going to start with that. And then that bit I can cut off. Yeah, that's this is better. Now you can see more of the blue and it's not, uh, not so strange. And that. Ink the white away. Okay, oh, I love it. The honey color, the, yeah, the honey gold, beautiful. Love it. Yeah, love it. Got all my glues here. Now let's see if I can cut the lace. Oh, there's some foam on there. Peeling it out. Oh, it keeps oozing out. Let's see how I'm going to cut this. I, this we don't need anymore. Let's put it back. That one. Let's see here. Oh, I'm very glad if you're still sticking with me. Again, a long video. Um, yeah, I want that to see more in a way going to cut it a bit wider and hopefully I can 
uh, roughen it up a bit. I'm not going to try to tear. The lots don't tear, and then it goes every way but the raw, but the right way. Oh, you see that that already tore. It's uh, very fragile, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to glue it. But I, yeah, this is all uh, really old from uh, my hall in uh, in Germany. Gorgeous pieces. Let's put some glue on here. And try to smear it out a bit so it doesn't show too much. Stick out on all two sides. Let's see in the journal. Again, I'm going to put it in this corner because I'm go going to glue it again on two sides. And uh, I'm going to put some glue here. And this will be sticking out, but I'm going to leave it. I always like pieces sticking out on all sides. Maybe a bit here. It doesn't go flapping. Like that. Now try again to put the glue on the right sides of the sock spot or maybe this one so it's not that thick and let's see this one and this one strange that we really <laughs> have to think about that I know I'm not the only one who has to think oh, which sides keep my fingers the right way and leave a little border. I always like that. Leave a bit, little of the page showing here and here. So now also, let's take this one. You can put something in here. Maybe you're writing, and this will be in the pocket. I really like it. And I think I'll, uh, but you will see that in the in the photos. Oh, this is the normal blue. You'll see it in the photos because. Um, uh, Heather from Ruby and Pearl uh, did hat pins stick in here or uh, yeah, just different pins and I think I'll uh, use a safety pin or something uh, to put uh, on there also but th those are details I always uh, yeah, mostly details come <laughs> at the last moment uh, for me and let's see ah yeah this is the middle so this will be here. Let's recap. That to the side and empty this in here. Yeah. So this was the first one. This the tag empty on the back. Maybe I'll put some flour on there. I don't know. I don't know what where it's catching, but it's catching somewhere. Maybe I'll find it and uh, can remy it. There can be tucked something there. This little image will go in here and the girl will just be peeking out. Love it. And then we have the frame. Oh, careful. With the bird. Beautiful. And 
it's interchangeable so the the card can come out and I think it needs something here just for some extra interest I think but that doesn't matter because that can oh and this will is a little tuck spot so it will be nice to put something in there because then it, it's peeking out uh, there it was with the fabric hinge bird is peeking out I really have to sew them in because again I'm decorating before sewing in and the last time I had a real hard time sewing the signatures in and I promised myself I'm not going to do that again and <laughs> I'm doing it again but also that is because for me the cover is the hardest I'm always doubting what I want with the cover and I'm uh, I'm postponing it every time so the pocket I really love it now with the journal card as always, thank you so, so much for watching and supporting my channel that way. Uh, I would love a like, a thumbs up, uh, and uh, maybe a comment. I would love to hear from you. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Have a very great day. Until next time. Bye-bye.